And then I spot this. Oh, yes it is. It is a Royal Hager, I'm so excited. We are just not even going to mess around with trying to keep the original sound. So voiceover you get. And I streamlined over to this little guy. I thought he was glass at first. He's so shiny. He's not old, but he's just so adorable that even at $6.99, I had to pick him up. And this caught my eye, but then I was like, is that a bunny playing a flute or is it supposed to be like a cocapelli? I wasn't sure, and then I kind of saw a duck with a beak. So you tell me, duck, rabbit, cocapelli. Tell me down in the comments. This little guy's cute. He's just not really worth picking up for $5. I don't know, I might have picked him up for like 99 cents, but not for $5. This little lady is actually a wall pocket, which I will show you in a moment. There it is. I think it's a wall pocket. I think that's what you would call this. Um, I started looking at it going, hmm, maybe it's like for a match holder or something. No, I think it's a wall pocket. So I did get her because she was absolutely vintage. I liked the teapot, but it was not marked. So I kept on going. This was a cute little, just a little jar, but it was contemporary. It was not old. And a little lusterware box with a flower on it, but again, not old. I was looking at the dolls. Now, this girl had an interesting look. There was something about her that made me look a little harder, but I still, I cannot make out Tammy. 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 That's what she says. So, there we go. Tammy doll. This was a cute teapot, but it had a big old chip on the rim. Right there. That was me getting myself off the floor. This was a nice set of kitchen prayer ladies, a salt and pepper. And then I looked and it was super duper broken and still super duper expensive. These had a very mid-century look to them, but I turned it over and they were like home goods. So yeah, there's lots of stuff out there meant to fool you. Tracy Porter, the Stonehouse Farm Collection. It was nice, but again, very contemporary. And that glaze chips really easy too. This was interesting. Not interesting enough to go in my cart, just, oh, interesting. That scared me. And this is still here. The last time I was in this store, it was there. And it's still as heavy as it was back then, which is why I didn't get it. I spotted these little, um, I guess you call it like a perpetual sign because it's Valentine's Day and St. Patrick's Day, but I thought I would just be a little goofy there. I'm still looking through the holiday. I don't think I will ever stop looking through the holiday because there's some really good holiday stuff that sells all year long. So you have to look, you have to look. And Easter is looking a little pathetic. The bunny was nice, but had a major chip. This is just a little box, just a little duck box. Now I liked these guys. I totally would have picked these up had they not been ripped open on the backs of their heads. Now I know some of you are probably crafty and could have sewed those right up, but that's not me. 
if I hold a sewing needle, I draw blood every time. So I just don't do it. And then I found the partridge in the pear tree, but the pear tree has definitely seen better days. Uh, and at $20, we will be leaving that. I love these things. I pick them up all the time. Most of them I keep. I do love you more than chocolate. Trying to make out the name on that bowl and I could not make it out. Maybe you know what it is. Oh, now I'm finding more of these little sign things. Ta-da! I thought nobody's gonna buy just a plain green one so I gotta make it look like it goes with the rest. There we go. Is it bigger than a bread box? There's your bread box. Just not a whole lot on the shelves. I thought this was really cute. Uh, it just doesn't have a lot of resale value. Kind of striking out so far. I like these, but they had kind of a cheap feel to them. And at $7.99, I was not going to pick those up for resale. I thought about it, but I didn't do it. I also thought about getting this little shelf because we are putting up shelves in the new house, but I decided against that too. And then I see this little guy here kind of kicking back like he's contemplating what he just read in the book or he's contemplating reading the book. Dave Grossman is what that says. And I did go ahead and pick this up, even though it had a little bit of wear, those are not chips. It's just a little bit of wear to the color. So he did go in the cart. Lots of letters. I guess you could spell all kinds of things with those. And the chicken candle holder is still here. And I looked at this last time and I still, I'm gonna pass it for $5.99. Just gonna pass it. I spotted this little vintage owl on copper background kind of wall hanging, but the copper part was pretty dinged up. There's the key to the kingdom. I did not need the key to the kingdom. I did not need this great big giant bowl either. I always got to look through the flowers and I actually, I really liked these, but they were $6 at Big Lots and they won five. So I just won't do that on principle. I did get these geraniums though for two dollars each. I don't know why I'm drawn to those little just plain looking vases. They get me every time. And this was also a newer piece. Well, not so new. 1993. Look at that. I saw the made in China and automatically assumed, but I still left it. It wasn't exciting enough to grab. Just not a whole lot here. Let's go over to the dishes. I love the blue on this. Love, love, loved it. It is a pure one, but they did want $7.99, even though original price was only $10.99. It's pretty.
pretty stunning. I did contemplate it, but because of the price point, I left that one behind. This is kind of a cool old um, kind of advertising ashtray by Crafts and Creations. It's for Pacific. Hold still, Danny. I can't read that. Oh my goodness. I still didn't. It was Pacific something. <laughs> Now, I know you're going to say these match those dishes that I just picked up the other day, but they don't. Uh, the ones I picked up are white on the outside. And then I spot this. Oh, yes, it is. It is a Royal Hager. I'm so excited until I notice the great big giant chip. Wait, wait for it. There, there. I notice it right there. Dang it. All right. I threw it back. Thought I had scored. And then this will go on my patio because we like little twirly things with butterflies. I decided to kind of explore the stuff that's sitting up at the top. New in the package stuff. And then I thought this was Ray Dunn, but it's not. It's Blue Harbor who's trying to copy Ray Dunn. That's when you know you've made it, right? Is when you get copied. Now I did not get the sunflower glass dishes the other day, so I decided I would pick these up. And a much more reasonable $2.99. I don't know who done them. I know they're vintage and I know they're sunflowers. And at three bucks each, I know I'm okay. This is a Guy Buffett or Buffet. I don't know how you say it, but it's just a little single piece. So uh, I liked this teapot too, but I decided to leave it. This one, I'm pretty sure is made in Japan. Oh, yep, look at that. Very common, just those brown teapots. These had a really nice look to them, but you can see they're very contemporary. And this is Oh, my camera didn't focus. Darn it. And I don't remember who done it. Yes, I see the little daisy teapot. I totally missed that while I was shopping. I might have actually picked that one up. It's pretty cute. I'm a little bit behind on getting my newest stuff listed, so I'm not as motivated to get things as I would be at other times. It was just the day of teapots and I kind of was looking at that fish, but I thought, okay, I'll look at the teapot. And then I didn't look at the fish. Boy, I frustrate myself sometimes. Wilmington, North Carolina. See, that's gonna be a very specific customer. And this again is like a copy of an older piece. It's got a nice look to it, but the feel felt very cheap. All right, looking over, I'm actually over in kind of like the plastic section, which I don't tend to shop too much, but I thought I'd give it a whirl. Now, does anybody need to make ice cubes in the shape of polar bears? Because this Goodwill has your ice cube trays in bulk. You can make a lot of polar bears. Yeah, see, I just kind of whiz right through the plastics. I do look, I don't always put it on film.
I got a few things, not a whole bunch. The shelves were pretty sparse, and I'm trying to stay very disciplined, too. Um, I did end up picking myself up a nice warm jacket that I just couldn't resist, and it was $12.99. So I spent like $42, but 13 of that was just my little coat. And then she let me have those geraniums for two bucks a piece, and those are going on my front porch. <laughs> it's like, I like the color. What can I say? And I don't have to worry about forgetting to water them. It's always a good thing. So that was my little Goodwill adventure for today. And uh, with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.